What's going on everybody? It's Blockchain Bulls and today we're going to talk about Origin Trail and how it compares to VeChain supply chain on the blockchain. Everything chaining up, right? Here we go. So uh, Origin Trail, if you guys haven't heard of it, now you're about to know. And it, many of you guys have probably already heard of VeChain uh, being that it's a top 25 cryptocurrency uh, for a long time and it's actually its own coin. I'm going to give you some updates on Origin Trail, talk to you guys about some things you may want to know about why this service is needed, who's behind it, and let's get into it. So if you're new to Blockchain Bulls, feel free to subscribe and keep up with us as we continue to give you more and more information about investing in cryptocurrencies. So here we go. We're going to CoinMarketCap. You can see right here, 18 cents, $62 million market cap. That's not too high, right? That's a mid capper. It's under $100 million market cap and it's like VeChain. And if you just look at the VeChain uh, market cap, 1.6 billion. So you can see that even if Origin Trail gets half of what uh, VeChain has right now in current market cap, that would be a huge price uh, swing up for Origin Trail. But beyond the price, let's talk about the fundamentals that make this project so interesting. Again, this is not professional financial advice. This is me showing you guys things that are going on and alternatives to some of your favorite cryptocurrencies that may be hidden gems, like a hidden gem like Origin Trail. That's what we're really calling this. So uh, when I compare it to VeChain, you can see VeChain right here is a coin. Uh, Origin Trail, it's a token on Ethereum's network. That's what VeChain used to be before it became its own coin, right? But there's some big information coming out. So you have VeChain Thor, and you know about that. That's on uh, vchain.org, but you have also vchain.com here. Vchain becomes the well, blockchain-based digitization service for food safety, blockchain-based digitization service for sustainability. So basically what these guys are looking to do, VeChain and Origin Trail, is supply chain uh, management with the data that comes from, uh, they use this uh, word in sustainable farming, from uh, crops to the shelves, basically, from dirt to your shelves. So it wears it, when it's on the, when it's planted, when the seed is planted in the soil all the way until it makes it to your plate, right? That's like a saying that the, uh, in the organic sustainable fashion industry, they say dirt to shirt, right? So you know you know exactly where those materials and textiles come from when they're actually put into onto your you know back or wherever they go, right? So that's what you're basically getting is supply chain management. If you don't know what a supply chain is, it's basically uh, everything from where it's manufactured, how it's shipped, where it ends up, when it gets to uh, let's say it's coming from China, how what happens to it when it gets to to a Long Beach Harbor, right? When it's in Long Beach Harbor, then it hops on a on a on a freight uh, train or it hops on a semi, and then it goes to Kansas City, and then it ends up in the Walmart. So you can see a lot of moving parts in the supply chain to get these things, these everyday household items, uh, to you, to your door. And VeChain's been trying to solve that for a long time, but now you have Origin Trail coming along. They've actually been in the industry for a while, and you can go here onto their website and see what exactly they've been working on. But um, here's where it gets interesting. Exchanging data across organizations efficiently. So again, data. It's almost like an oracle for supply chain is really what I would uh, say for the most part. So you would be looking at like Chainlink, all of the uh, supply chain. So modern supply chains lack transparency, key challenges, poor data interoperability, reluctance to exchange sensitive data, cost and scalability of blockchain technology, lack of decentralized database solutions. Origin Trail protocol is purposely designed to enable trusted data exchanges and fragmented supply chains. So where there's broken supply chains, inefficient data transmission, uh, not you, the consumer, not knowing where that where that comes from exactly, kind of missing uh, links in the process. This is what this is. Origin Trail is trying to solve, right? Discover the power of the Origin Trail protocol. So here's listen carefully. Origin Trail protocol brings trusted data sharing to global supply chains by utilizing blockchain technology. The Origin Trail decentralized network (ODN) is built for data integrity and validation in inter 
organizational environments based on globally recognized standards and powerful graph data structures. So again, getting all of that data in the supply chain on the blockchain here, okay? With existing use cases across different industries, Origin Trail is a foundation for the next generation of business applications. So if you just go back to the actual website for these guys, you can see, uh, you know, they're really big on the farming aspect of it. Uh, you see standards and certificates, trusted factory, food traceability, fashion and apparel traceability, which is that dirt to shirt that I talked about, enterprise data interoperability, industrial data marketplaces. So what else have they been doing recently? Well, uh, as I mentioned previously, they've been working with, Ethe they're on the Ethereum network, but here's where it gets really interesting. You can see Zigger Dev, he's uh, also the founder of Origin Trail. He calls it Google for supply trains, driving trusted data exchanges between organizations, big or small, since 2011. So Origin Trail right here on their Twitter has this going on. Boarding update, the maximum threshold for express token commitments for the pioneering Starfleet phase is now surpassed. You can still register for boarding at boarding.origintrail.io, right? So you go here, launching Origin Trail Knowledge Economy. Join the limited group of participants in the pioneering phase of the Origin Trail Knowledge Economy and put your track to work. So why join? Optimize knowledge publishing, new knowledge incentivization tools, ODN nodes on Starfleet, liquidity for ODN nodes, liquidity for knowledge tokens. So can you participate in the ODN while at the same time board on the Origin Trail Knowledge Economy? Yes. So you can see knowledge tokens, knowledge wallet, knowledge tenders, knowledge marketplace. So this is a big uh, add-on here that's happening right now. If you go to Origin Trail, follow them on Twitter, keep up with them and you'll see the information. Now let's talk about what they have going on with Polkadot, right? So you have the next generation platforms are already built on Origin Trail using not only Ethereum for consensus, but largely relying on Polkadot to allow for multi-chain vision, making way for the mainstream adoption. It is an approach being validated by many leading firms, Trace On. So it's tracing all of the information on the supply chain. So Again, go follow them on Twitter. You can also follow Zigadrev here, who's putting out a lot of uh, different information from Oracle Blockchain and also from some of these other cryptocurrency projects uh, on the blockchain. You can see even Ivan on Tech, it looks like, is saying, hey, track needs to be on Kraken FX fast. So let's see, is this the real Ivan on Tech? 128.8 thousand followers? I would say so. So he's out here. Uh, a big fan of Origin Trail. And like I said, if you just go back to the price, I mean, $62 million market cap, 18 cents, compare that against a $1.6 billion market cap for VeChain. VeChain is sitting at under two cents, but it has a way higher circulating supply. Now, it's really hard to call a token more valuable than a coin in the same respect. But you've seen what Chainlink has done, and it's an ERC-20 token, and it's actually got more of a market cap than VeChain. So um, could it be possible that Origin Trail gets to um, a billion dollar market cap? I don't see why not. Now, if it got to a billion dollar market cap, you would be looking at over well over a dollar um, just if it caught up to a small percentage of where VeChain is you would be over a dollar on your investment here. Now, where would you pick up uh, track? I would say probably Uniswap, KuCoin, or Bittrex. Well, KuCoin, I don't know if I, if I could say that, but Uniswap or Bittrex, but you can see right here is where it's available. Rank number 161, it is a token. Um, you can go over their source code and all that, ERC20 token. But if you just compare it against VeChain, I'm not saying it is at the same level of VeChain because again, VeChain became a coin. They're their own blockchain protocol. Origin Trail is still on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So those are some things to consider. Now, when you guys do decide to take a look at um, this Origin Trail before you make an investment, because you always do your own research, go over everything they've done on their roadmap and their evolution, starting back in uh, 2011. Another thing you want to make sure is, who are these guys? Thomas Levac, Zigadrev, um, Brandon Mir Rockick, you want to make sure that when you 
when you're doing research into a project that they're not anonymous. So these guys obviously being out there, letting you know who the founders are of this project. Uh, the advisors, of course, on the team here uh, are important to know. Uh, VeChain does the same thing. I mean, they're totally transparent. They're not hiding anything. You could easily go onto VeChain's website and find out who the team is. Um, let me see if I can find that for you real quick here. I've already, I know for a fact you can find it. Um, here we go. So you've got all this information on vchain.org there of, uh, you can see friendly faces working on the project. Uh, but I'm not really comparing this to VeChain as much as I'm saying, wow, when you look at the uh, opportunity that exists in terms of uh, being similar, like a similar project, uh, fungible if you want to call it that, because they're both supply chain management on the blockchain. One's a coin, one's a token, so they're not exactly fungible. But, I mean, come on. You guys can do the math, can't you? So um, that's what I'm saying. Uh, if you were to uh, decide to be interested in this project before you invest, always do your own research. Research, research, research. Sometimes take a couple days and dr drill it down. I mean, if you look at the price action, even here recently in August, this coin was 23 cents. Okay. Uh, it's all time high. If you just look, or this token was $70 million market cap, 26 cents. Uh, before that, it was 41 cents. So I don't really see too much downside. I mean, I guess you could suggest that it could go back down to 10 cents. Um, if it goes below 10 cents, that might be a time to really get aggressive if you decide that you want to be patient with something like this because you're in no real rush, right? So it could go below 10 cents. It could just keep going up from here if the market stays bullish. We don't know exactly what the price of this thing is going to be, but all it takes is a listing on Kraken or a listing on, I don't know, uh, Binance.us, who knows where they could get listed. And then the next thing you know, they're totally plugged in and people are like, wow, supply chain management data on the blockchain. We really uh, understand that. We get why that's needed. We want to know uh, everything tracked on a ledger really totally makes sense. I mean, we're surprised that many other sectors haven't picked this up, like the medical industry could benefit from the blockchain and the ledgers and even the decentralized data collection. Why they're not doing it, I don't know. Maybe it's like a little bit ahead of their time, but supply chain for manufacturing and products, certainly we could see why they would need it, okay? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching Blockchain Bowls. Let me know what you guys think of Origin Trail. Let me know what you think of VeChain. Moving forward, thanks to everyone who subscribes, watches our videos. We've got plenty on here if you're a newbie. Look at crypto training videos, a whole playlist for all you beginners. We'll see you guys on the next one.